Welcome, Spinnaker Summit attendees. What a great day it has been so far. First off, we'd like to thank our sponsors, our amazing sponsors. We want to thank our happy hour sponsor, Acurix. Thank you to our partners, Armory and Netflix. Also, a huge thank you to our advocate, OpsMX. Next, we've got a fun surprise for our Spinnaker Summit series attendees. Uh, we'll be giving away 20 custom Spinnaker Summit towels to those of you who are joining us here today for trivia. Keep an eye on the chat to see if you've won. You must be present to win. Now, on to our trivia. Okay, you guys, so the winner of our trivia game today will win a CDF swag bundle, including a t-shirt, socks, and a Tecton plushie. Please note, winners will be required to claim their prize with the same email which they use to register. So no cheating, okay? <laughs> so let's play trivia. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. All right, so there is gonna be a QR code that pops up on the bottom of the screen. Boom, there it is. Okay, so you can take your phone out and take a picture of that QR code, or you can type in the URL at the bottom of the screen. It's crowd.live. And when you get there, you're gonna enter the code P-M-A-N-C. P as in Peter, M as in man, A as in apple, N as in Nancy, C as in crystal. That's my name. I'm Crystal Sparks. I didn't even introduce myself. Hello. How's everybody doing? Make sure you're pulling out your phone, scanning that QR code in the bottom left-hand corner, or you're going to another URL or maybe a browser on your phone, and you go to crowd.live and enter the code P-M-A-N-C. So once this trivia game starts, it's going to go really fast. We're going to ask questions, and the longer you take to answer the question, the less points you get. So we put up a question on there and it's multiple choice. So you have some options, but the more you have to think about it, the point score goes down and you only get a very short amount of time to answer these questions. I think it's like 15 seconds up on the board. So if you answer at 15 seconds left, you get a hundred points and then it goes down as the clock winds down. So these go really, really fast. So you got to put your brain in high mode right now put your thinking caps on because this competition is about to get fierce are you guys ready we are at nine players so far so you guys got the competitive edge you just heard my explanation of how this game is gonna go so you guys might hear it again but you know what it's only gonna make you faster stronger and better okay so i have faith in you guys my nine that are already on that you guys are gonna dominate this game or everyone is gonna do well but you all specifically are going to dominate this game all right we've got 13 players up in this room. So I'm gonna explain it again for everyone. Just so you know, trivia is about to kick off. And once we kick off this trivia, it is going to go extremely fast. We pop a question up on the board. It's a multiple question. And then you all have four options. Obviously it's multiple questions, but you have like 15 seconds to guess the answer. The problem is 15 seconds sounds like a long time, right? But the problem is, for those 15 seconds, as the clock winds down, you're losing points that you can accrue from that question as the clock winds down. So it goes real, real fast. It's real hard, but it is really fun. So just stick with it, everyone, and you will see it's going to be fun. All right. All right. We've got 15 players up on the board. I think we are ready for this. Just remember what I said, everyone. It goes really fast. So put those thinking caps on. And here we go. The trivia game begins in three, two, one. All right, here we go. English rock band, the Beatles, formed in 1960 in which British city? A, Edinburgh, B, London, C, Liverpool, or D, Manchester. If you see those points on the board are dwindling down, only 15 seconds left on the clock. Look at their outfits. Oh my gosh, I would kill for an outfit like that today. All right, you guys, time is almost up. Five, four, three, two, 
one at is up. Hope everyone got their points on in time. Looks like 63% said the right answer. Very nice. That looks like Liverpool was the right answer. All right. MLE Grace, you are leading the board. All right. Barissi and Joel trailing right there. All right. With this win for the father in 2021, this 83 year old became the oldest winner of an acting Academy Award. Was it A, Anthony Hopkins, B, Morgan Freeman, C, Clint Eastwood, or D, Laurence Olivier? 53 points up on the board. You guys, only 15 seconds left to go. 10 seconds left on the board. Who knows the answer? You better ask Siri real quick because we are running out of time. Five, four, three, two, one. Booyah. Let, let's see how it goes. It looks like 27% of you said B, but 60% of you said Anthony Hopkins. Way to go. MLE Grace, you are still in the lead. Nishant is right behind you with Barisi right behind as well. All right, everyone. What is the name of this 1930 painting by artist Grant Wood? Is it A, American Farmer, B, Rustic Courtship, C, Two Farmers Home, or D, American Gothic? I've never really actually looked at this picture close, but they do not look happy. But I bet you would be happy if you won all these points. So let's see how you guys are doing. Eight seconds left on the board. 23 points, six seconds, five seconds, Four seconds, three seconds, two, one. How did everyone do? 33% of you answered D, American Gothic. Way to go. Emily Grace is still in the lead. Way to go, everyone. I'm really proud of you all. All right. This bird is the large flightless bird native to New Guinea and Australia. What color are the eggs? I don't know how to pronounce this bird, so I'm not going to say it. A, green, B, blue, C, yellow, or D, red. 15 seconds left on the clock, everybody. How are we doing? 10 seconds left on the clock. Those points are winding down real fast, aren't they? All right, five seconds. What is it? What color are the eggs? I need to know. Oh, time is up. How did everyone do? Okay, 33% of you said yellow. Oh, but the 13% that said green were accurate. Let's see who's leading the board. Oh, Joel has stepped up to number one. Okay, Joel, I see you creeping up to the number one spot. All right. French toast actually had its origin from what early civilization, everyone? A, ancient Egypt. B, Roman Empire. C, Aztecs. Or D, ancient Greece. I don't know the answer, but I know those French toasts look really, really good. So if anyone is eating those after this, send some my way. I will drop you a pin, all right? 12 seconds left on the board, everyone. 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Oh, my gosh, those French toasts look so good with the berries and the strawberries. Oh, I need some in my life. All right, 2 seconds, 1. How did we all do? Let's see. Looks like 43% of you said Roman Empire and you would have been correct. Way to go. Let's see how the leaderboard is looking. Joel and Emily Grace are leading the leaderboard. I am so excited for you guys. All you all are doing great. Chimpanzees and gorillas have human-like fingerprints and so do which of these other animals? A, raccoons, B, otters, C, koalas, or D, gophers? Time is winding down. I told you guys these questions were going to go quick. I hope everything is where it should be. Eight seconds. Five seconds. Everyone is doing great. Let's see how we did. Raccoons, otters, koalas, or gophers. Looks like 47% said koalas, and you all would be correct. Way to go. Joel is hanging on in that number one spot, but London has creeped in to the top three. Let's see if Emily Grace can hold on. All right, you guys, every year, June 6th commemorates the landing operations of the Allied invasion of Normandy, France, which helped end World War II. What is the name of this event? Is it D-Day, Battle of the Bulge, Attack on Pearl Harbor, or Battle of Midway? Let's see who was listening in ninth grade social studies class. 10 seconds left on the board, everyone. Was it D-Day, Battle of the Bulge, Attack on Pearl Harbor, Battle of Midway? We'll find out in three, two, one. Boom, time's up. Hope you got the answer correctly. 73% of you said D-Day. 73% of you would have been correct. Very nice. You all were listening in your history class. Very proud of you. Joel is at the top of the leaderboard. 
Way to go. Emily Grace is still hanging on in there. Let's see how we do. Some North Americans are experiencing the noisy arrival of cicadas this summer, an insect species that only emerges from underground once every blank years. A3, B8, C125, or D17. Let's see who is getting this point right now. If you don't know about this loud bug in the world, you are very lucky. I've been hearing about these bugs. I have never had the to encounter one. Thank the Lord. Three seconds left on the board. Let's see how everyone did. It looks like 33% of you said C. 27% of you actually got it right. It is 17 years. Yes, cicadas come up every 17 years like clockwork in the northeastern part of the United States. Interesting, right? All right, Joel is still at the top of the leaderboard. Way to go. Millie Grace is, I'm just going to say Millie Grace. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that. You are strong number two. All right, you guys. Ninth installment in the Fast and Furious film franchise will be released on June 25th. What's the official title of the new film? Is it A, F9, B, Ninth Day of Racing, C, The Furious Nine, or D, Fast and Furious, Nine Lives? I really like the way this is looking. Let's see how everyone else knows. Have you seen the billboard for this? If you have, you're going to know the answer. Only seven seconds left on the board. Five seconds, four seconds, three, two. All right. How did everyone do? Looks like 43% of you said D, and you would have been wrong. It is F9. Come on, man. All right. Joel Nishant Barisi leading the board. Very nice. All right. The American Society of Civil Engineers compiled a list of seven wonders of the modern world in 1994. Which of these is not located in North America? All right, everyone. If you get this right, I will be so proud of you because this is actually a really hard question. CN Tower, Empire State Building, Golden Great Bridge, or Panama Canal? It's not that hard of a question if you really think about it. North America, which is it? Two seconds, one second left on the board. Let's see how everyone did. 58%, oh, 50% of you said D, Panama Canal, and you would have been correct. Joel still holding on to that number one spot, but it looks like Zoltan has snuck up in the leaderboard top three. Very nice. All right, everyone. The Chicago Bulls defeated which team for their sixth and final NBA title of the 1990s? Shout out to my 90s babies. Phoenix Suns, Seattle Supersonics, Los Angeles Dodgers, or Utah Jazz. Now there is a, a trick in here. They just threw, I see. Mm -hmm. All right, 10 seconds left on the clock. That is a very nice photo of those three beautiful, beautiful people. All right, three seconds. All right, the answer, 33% said C Seattle Supersonics, but you would have been incorrect. It was 25% of you that actually got it right. Very, very nice. 687 points. Joel, you are killing it. Zoltan and Nishant are right behind you. You guys, you everyone. On what planet of our solar system is a day longer than a year? Venus, Krypton, Mars, or Saturn? On what planet of our solar system is one day longer than a whole year? Let's see if anyone knows the correct answer. I will be very impressed if you all know this one. It is a very difficult question. Three seconds, two seconds, and one. Let's see how everyone did. Oh, 64% of you said Venus, which will have been correct. Very nice. Everyone, 64% of you, because it's so close to the sun, Venus has a fast orbit, completing a revolution in 225 Earth days. Very nice. Joel with 746 points, killing it. Zoltan and Nishant right behind in the 400s. All right, you got everyone. A number of companies use bells in their logos. The bell seen here belongs to A, Bell Laboratories, B, AT&T, C, Taco Bell, or D, Bell's Department Store. I've never heard of that department store. I wonder would they have anything cute in my size. Anyway, there are only 10 seconds left on the board. Let's see if you know the answer. Bell Laboratories, AT&T, Taco Bell, or this department store I've never heard of. What is the answer. It looks like 67% of you said Taco Bell. Only 67% of you have ate a Taco Bell. Only 67%. Great job to the 67% of people that were able to pick that. It comes from the founder, 
Glenn Bell. That is why they use a bell in their logo. Joel is still killing the game. 840 points. Zoltan with 515 right behind. All right. The skyline of what international city is largely identified by the famous building shown here? Is it Milan, Italy, Sydney, Australia, Athens, Greece, or Paris, France? All right, everyone. We only have five more questions after this. So I hope you are confident in your answer because we are creeping towards the finish line. Five seconds left on the board. Three, two, one. The answer, well, let's see what everyone said. 100% of you, you, got, you all are smart. 100% of you said Sydney, Australia, and that was correct. The original cost estimate for the Sydney Opera House was actually $7 million U.S. million. Its final cost was $102 million. Wow. All right. Joel is still killing the game. He is crushing it. Way to go. All right. Between 2008 and 2012, Lindsey Vaughn won four World Cup championships in what sport? That's a great question. I don't know. Was it A, badminton, badminton, B, skiing, C, figure skating, or D, volleyball? Hmm. That is a great question. 10 seconds left on the board, so I hope you know, because I certainly don't. All right, five seconds, four, three, two. All right, let's see if anyone got it right. 71% of you overwhelmingly said skiing, and you would have been correct. Wow, I am very impressed with this group. Joel, I am also very impressed with you. You are crushing it over here. Zoltan, second place. All right, here we go. An annual LGBT Awareness Day is observed every October 11th. What is this day also known as? A, National Coming Out Day. B, Harvey Milk Day. C, Pride Day. Or D, International Day Against Homophobia. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds left on the clock. Let's see who knows this answer. You're going to learn something today if you don't know it. Learn you something. Three, two, one. All right. Let's see what everyone picked. 65% of you said C, and you would have been incorrect. 29% of you got it right. It's actual National Coming Out Day. Joel is still killing the game, but Jay Mordecai. Gag is right behind. It's 669. All right, everyone. Beyonce was born and raised in which city? If you listen to her music, you know this. If you are in the Bayhive, you already know. Okay. New York City, Vancouver, Houston, or Oklahoma City. I hope, I hope an overwhelmingly percent of you all get this right. Otherwise, I will be a little disappointed. Bayhive unites. Yes. Five seconds. Four seconds. Hope you ask Siri. Hope you get it right. Don't let me down, everyone. One second. All right. Let's see, everyone. 72% of you say Houston. Very nice job. That was the correct answer. Let's see who is leading the board. Joel still with over 1,000 points. 725 points for second place. 653 points for third place. Doing great, you guys. Though, though most parts of the human body shrink with age, the nose and blank actually keep growing. Yeah, this is very interesting. I actually know this answer. Uh, A, feet, B, fingers, C, ears, or D, eyes. This is such a fascinating fact about the human body. I hope you all know the answer to this. If you don't, you're gonna learn something today. Four seconds left on the board. Three, two, one. All right, everyone, let's see how you did. 67% said ears, and that is correct. I once asked my grandmother why her ears were so big. While the rest of her body shrinks as we get older, our noses, earlobes, and ear muscles keep getting bigger, only if we're listening. All right, Joel is in the top of the leaderboard with over 1,000 points. Jay Mordecai is coming right behind him with 796. Question number 19, how many eyes do bees have? Two, five, three, or 12? That is really interesting. I actually never thought about that. Two, five, three, or 12. That bees are our friends. You guys know they're endangered, like very endangered species. That's crazy. So don't kill bees if you see them. Just run. Run as fast as you can. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, five seconds, four seconds, three left on the board. Can you guess the correct answer? Five eyes. 56% of you say five eyes. 
You would have been correct. Who would have known? I would have never thought these have five eyes. Joel is still killing the game with over 1,100 points. Jay Mordecai has 845. All right, everyone. American television series Friends features six best friends, including Joey, Phoebe, Chandler, Rachel, Ross, and who? Is it Courtney, Crystal, Matthew, or Monica? Well, this is the last question, and my name is Crystal, so I would probably go with Crystal, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't a character named crystal on i don't know that's my name so that's the best name for me that's the best option let's see how you guys did Ooh, only three seconds left who's taking all of this who is the winner okay oh you guys are pretty spread out but pretty much all of you said monica and that would have been the correct answer monica was the missing person she was of course played by actress courtney cox all right let's take a look at the leaderboard joel you killed it with 1,187 points, 17 out of 20 correctly. Second and third place, Jay Mordecai. And sorry, I'm totally saying your name wrong. I'm sorry. And Zoltan, you all did great as well with 845 and 818 points, respectively. Thank you, everyone, for playing. You all did fantastic. I am super impressed that the answers you all got correct. We want to give another special shout out to our sponsors, Armory. Netflix, Ops MX, thank you so much for sponsoring this awesome event. And of course, Accurix could not have done this without you all. So if you are the winner, Joel, congratulations to you again. Please email us at events at cd.foundation to claim your prize. Once again, Joel, you're going to email us at events at cd.foundation to claim your prize. Congratulations to you. So we shout out our sponsors. We have our winner. We want to thank you guys so much for playing. Give yourselves a round of applause. Have a great rest of the day. My name is Crystal Sparks. See you next time.